way more power. And what I mean by cheater step, it's like a running start. So Jesse, yeah? So Jesse, go, go around. Let's talk about this. To be dynamic, if you, if you walk around and then stop, even if you keep everything correct and tight, walk around, block. Now stop, squat, and pop. That was pretty, it worked. But I want you to just do everything together, all at once. So you step over here and then plow metric. Yeah. I want you to pop them and lift them and turn okay. them sideways. Good, good, good. Much better. Okay? So we have to use that dynamic part, guys. If you haven't done it, we could do any athletic exercise and you guys would automatically figure it out. If I was going to throw a ball and I go, and I throw it, like, or if I go, you know, it's going to go way further. I got that little jump before the Happy Gilmore. So the Happy Gilmore could hit the ball far. I don't know how the best guys do it from just being in the position. I'm not a golfer. But it seems to me I would much rather be able to cheat if I can by getting a running start. Okay? All right. Go back to work. One, two. That's it. That's all I got to say about it. And that. then you can go the other way, right? So like you're here, right? And you step over. Oh, you're blocking that. Yeah. Man, you're letting out the secrets. Oh, my bad, my Man. bad. He, he's like the guy in the movie. I watch PGTV, baby. I, and, and I watch PGTV, that's you're all. Watch, you're watching the movie, and, and, watching the movie, and then he's like, he's like, hey, he's eating his power. He's like, hey, watch, this is the part where the monster going to come out. And he's going to scare him. He's going to get him. Hey, cut that shit out. <laughs> okay, so this, yesterday, we did this. Uh, we, we, we did this, uh, oh, yeah. this lift. Now. Instead, we're gonna practice defense. Now, there's a couple ways to defend lifts. One of the most common things is the guy just won't step you, let you step in front. So, I, I, we teach a lot of this nowadays in high school. It wasn't taught to me when I was in school, but this is uh, getting very effective. He, the guy just reaches back with his thumb like this and blocks my quad, my knees. And I can't lift Jesse because I can never step in front. So you see, I have a lock and I can't step in front of him. It's impossible to lift this guy. So not only, and then what about the more simple, which would be just like squat and lift him right here. He's blocking that leg. You see where his hip is. If I get underneath his hip, even if I get underneath his hip, if he can counterbalance by leaning forward, I won't be able to do the, the back suplex very easily. See that? So if, if Jesse didn't know what he was doing, he was kind of standing up a little bit, you know, up here, and I was, you know, here, see how my hip is low? I got a nice bend. I could step in and pop and then suplex backward, okay? But again, he's checking, he's trying to block all the moves. So I can't step in front, I can't lift him. So all I'm doing now, this left palm is up. I'm gonna cut this way. His hip is here, his quad is here. You're gonna be at that hip, maybe on the quad a little bit. You're gonna force some pressure with your ulna, and then I'm gonna just gonna step back, and I'm gonna pull him and turn his hip this direction as I step back. Once I do that, imagine I, I put my foot there, and this angle, his body now cannot, he cannot move that foot that way. Now, even if my foot gets away, he still can't move it. See, he moved it there. But what I'm saying is, if I put ample pressure, that foot can't get out. And then he's gonna fall to this butt cheek. So I start like I'm looking to lift, and then he's blocking out, and I can't lift him. And I just sit him right on his butt, and I'm circling around this way, driving pressure. See that elbow? Inside wrist. Capture. And then we're coming out to the side, and we're in the same position. Okay. You don't have to follow up exactly the way I did. You could just go to the back. Like again, an alternative would be something like this. Uh, here, and then now I'm just behind him. Now I wanted you to stay on your butt. Okay. So there's, there's so many ways that this thing can land. I, I can't lift. I could be like right here and just grabbing wrists here and keep them in the seated position. But to keep uniformity, Drive right here, and then as the guy's 
trying to get up a little, there's that inside wrist. If he fell to his shoulder, this would be a nice follow-up to come up into katagatami or arm triangle. Okay. Um, or even side control. Just... Yeah, or side control, whatever. Okay, there's lots of options. So the move is step to the front, try to lift, pull his butt and pull him in a circle to this side. Okay, great combo. So you check the lift and pull him. You can use this grip. You can use palm to palm. It is better to have this palm up. That doesn't mean that it's absolutely critical. If you keep a tight lock, it'll still work in reverse. So let's say my hands were locked like this or like this, and I was trying to lift here. It could still be effective from there. I just personally love that feeling that you're gonna get from that cutting kind of ulna. It cuts in ulna. So give that a shot. You ready? One, two, three. Now, putting a, a combination together like this is super important. You have to have always in every combat art, any kind of technique, offense we're doing, we have to have a combination. We have to have a move number one. Opponent provides a counter to move number one. We have a move number two. Okay, you use the jab to set up the right hand. It's ultra elementary and simple, but we have to have it. So, because guess what? You don't just have a collection of moves, like a lift. You gotta run the curriculum where you're like, I'm gonna hit the lift, he's gonna defend, and you know already how that guy's gonna defend. You're playing the game of chess with grappling, and you understand that if you attack him with this, he's gonna put a block up. And when he puts that block up, you have a second move to go to right away. That way you're not just hunting and pecking around, trying to figure it out by lift. Oh, that didn't work, let me try something out. Let me yank him this way. No, it's a combo, and you're, and you're putting these combinations together right when the opponent makes that defense, and puts that defense up. Very important. So that's what we're doing. Thank you so much. Teach me grappling. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.